to the party that is getting underway here at the Dubai Sevens. Round two of the HSBC Sevens World Series. It's been won by Samoa. More on them in just a few moments. But first of all, how did England get on? Well, they had a horrible first day, beaten by South Africa and also by Portugal. They were knocked out of the cup, so they wouldn't be winning it for the third year in a row. The next day, they eventually made it to the Shield final, where they beat Spain by 26 points to five. Two tries from Marcus Watson. Uh, it was good. We had a bit of a tough week, to be honest. We didn't play quite like we wanted to, but we've got to, we've got to win. We're kind of now starting Chai Roto. Won our last two. We're going to now push on going to South Africa with our heads held higher, at least, than we thought. Good we're getting momentum. You know, we've had two big wins in the last two games, scored a lot of points. Probably end up as top try scorers in the tournament. So there's, there's, there's some silver lining. I love coming here, love playing in cup games to lose like we did and get knocked out like we did. You know, we beat Samoa who were in the final in the group games. Wanted to kick on from there. Made some errors that, that hopefully they won't make in the future. Hopefully they've learned from. Um, I can't hide the fact I was, I, was, I was mortally disappointed last night. It was a very good weekend for the Welsh. They beat Fiji in the semi-final of the plate before going to win the final of that competition against Canada. We've had three new caps who have really stepped up in this tournament and uh, just good to see. Yeah, hopefully we'll just put performances like that in again. We've got two injuries at the moment, but hopefully they'll be fine next week. Not a great couple of days for Scotland on day one. Friday, they lost all of their matches. On day two, they beat Australia in the quarter-final of the bowl, but unfortunately, they were beaten then by Argentina in the semi. This RB level now is, is just uh, such a high level. Anything off pattern, anything that you go away from your fundamentals, you get punished with, and that's what we did today. And one game don't make a team, and I think Scotland's got to realise that. So then, what about the winners, Samoa? They beat New Zealand by 26 points to 15 in the final. It was their first win here in Dubai. I'm very happy and proud of the post performance uh, at this final. We came here to win the cup. We have a second time final here, so the boys came here to win. This is the end of this one, but it's the beginning for the next week. We hope the boys will uh, keep this uh, for next week. Well, with me now is George Gregan. George, Aussie were beaten by England and Scotland. How does that feel? Yeah, it's a disappointing day, isn't it? Getting knocked off by two Northern Hemisphere teams. We certainly don't have the bragging rights. We'll just have to lick our wounds over the next probably seven days before we stump up again next week in uh, South Africa. But it wasn't great to see as an Australian. But uh, that's sevens, and that's what brings people to, the, to these types of environments and get the part of the celebration, which is great. George, thank you very much indeed. And as he said, next week, the HSBC Sevens World Series will be in South Africa. Meanwhile, everyone in Dubai is partying.